Hi guys, my name is still Remain Beyond the Tola DTM, the Hancock of Cardio Solution Place and Academy. Today I'll be taking you through because I promise to be educating you through a lot of things on cartridge farming to give you some insight about drug administration, to give you some insight about organic and in under organic way of treating your fishes. Today I brought to you what we call moringa. Everybody knows moringa is well planted all over. I think I think in say, some decade ago, it's well popular in Africa that at least because we know the benefit of moringa, everybody started planting it in their backyard to use for themselves for women consumptions. And even though I remember vividly that my mom has to send it to me far away from where she is, that means the seed, the grinded seed. So I'm mixing it with some tea that I'm taking at home. So today I'll be giving you the benefits of Moringa to your fishes. Moringa stands as an alternative protein source for the dietary uh, for the dietary of your fishes, which as as a conventional uh, uh, diet for new tilapia and other fishes like catfish too as well. So if you don't know what is Moringa, this is uh, this is moringa leaf. This is the moringa leaf. The good thing about moringa is that everything about moringa is perfect. There's no side of moringa that is not useful. This is moringa leaf. You can see the leaf. These are the upcoming seeds, which are very, very useful too. They are very highly medicinal. And two, moringa stands to cure uh, cancer in humans. It's an antifungi for fishes. It boosts the immune system of bodies. That means it boosts the immune system of your fishes so that that will not attract a disease uh, uh, to contact your fishes. And two, it heals wound for your fishes. That means for those people that are having, uh, they are, normally tells me their fishes are peeling bodies and co. This is a very medicinal source to prepare for your fishes. Note, this uh, can be fermented, that means it can be, the liquid from the leaf can be grind or can be squeezed. By the time you release the liquid, this can be applied to your uh, ponds as a medicinal to cure uh, your fishes. Again, this can be consumed directly by your fishes. These are the seeds of the Moringa, which is very, very useful too in the human body. And uh, these are the seeds. For those of you who don't know, these are the seeds. The seeds can be grinded, can be well powdered. You can use it as a source for your local feed in order to treat, uh, to, that means antioxidant, that means antioxidant that may happen to your fishes, that may uh, uh, relatively uh, convert to disease to your fishes. You can use this as a treatment. By the time you grind it, you powder it very well. If you are using like an 100 kg, if you are doing an 100 kg of form uh, feed formulation, you can as well grind this and powder it very well. You can use like 200 grams, 300 grams for your 100 kilo. So, but today I'll be taking you through how to feed this uh, beautiful plant as i said you can see the lot of formulations that i've given to this plant now i will be telling you how to feed it directly to your fishes so that this as your fish are there are two things you can do with these two you can add this leaf to your formulated uh, locally formulated feed that means you have to peel it up like this so by the time you peel it up you grind it with your uh, ingredients that you are using for your formulation that means you grind if you are using let me say you are using like uh, 40, 40 kilo of a uh, fish meal and you are using like 20 kilo of GNC making 60 kilo you are using 20 kilo of food fat soya or soya milk that means uh, that comes to 80 kilo and you are using maybe flowers as your source of binding or for those of us that are using indomie for those of us that are using maize for those of us that are using biscuit waste beauty waste and honey other waste these are made a hundred percent of your fishes and though after then you need you know to take cognizance so that you can bias you can balance the diet that means you can buy the nutritional diet so you need some premise 
this as lot of lysine. Uh, Moringa leaves as lot of lysine in it. So you can do without adding lysine to your feed if you want to use a moringa. So you can, if you don't want to use moringa, you can use a, you can use your premix, you can use your mentholin if you are not using lysine. So you can use your DCP or your bone meal or your limestone as you can do to your formulation. And again, make sure that you put this into your formulation so that this can have an, an effect to boost your lysine to work as a medicinal form for your fishes too as well. Another thing is that you can feed your fishes with this directly. Directly, by the time you put it in your pond, your uh, fishes will feast on it. They will feast on it and they will finish everything. It works as an alternative source because it's highly, it's proteinous. So it's work as a protein source for your fishes too as well. So giving it to them directly will increase, will at least let us make it, because I normally tell people, if you are feeding your fishes, make sure you are adding some supplementary food in order to boost their immune system and to boost their protein. So this acts as a uh, protein source too for their dietary to boost their uh, protein level. I will take you to the farm now to see as I will be feeding these uh, wonderful plants to the fishes. Later, I will take you through how to use my bitter leaf. I will take you to use how to use my azula plant. I will take you through how to use my duckweed and all the uh, plants that are highly nutritional, like the purple leaf, like the potato leaf, all the leaves that you can get around you when your fishes are hungry. Maybe when it's on weekend that you don't have any food to give to your fishes. If you have these at your mm -hmm. surrounding, maybe at your neighbor's house, just get it and give it to your fishes. It acts as a supplementary feed for them. So thank you very much. I'll be taking you to the farm now to see how my fishes will be feeding on the fishes. And before I go, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube page and make sure that you click on the notification button. This will allow you to know when I'm releasing new videos and make sure that you pump up the thumbs button, that means the like button and feedbacks, give me feedbacks. Get me, run me, give notifications, give comments on my videos. Make sure that you, if you need any improvement on my video, let me know so that I can be corrected. So I'll be giving you more insight on this. Now let me take you to the farm to see how it feeds on my fishes.
Peggy. 